Most artists don't don't do well because they're too selfish. <laughs> now, I was like, and it was like it was some truth to it, but it was almost like a little reality check too. But I guess what he was saying is that a lot of people don't see uh, some of this artwork that different people are doing, this great stuff, you know, this talent. It's because they keep it to themselves. They don't want to show anyone. You know what I mean? It's like. It's like they they sit there and they act like this is this is all for me and it's nothing wrong with that because it's really therapeutic it's something that it's it's something that where you know it calms you you know you're thinking about it you get really sort of like meta uh i would say like you sort of get in this meditative state so i understand why people do they want to work and sort of keep it to themselves but in the sense of you know eating off of it <laughs> feeding your family you know living you you're not in that point where where you can be selfish with your work you have to show people you have to let people know what you can do uh, you have to challenge yourself and you really can't be selfish you never know who your artwork is going to inspire or what type of doors your artwork might open mm -hmm. in general. So yep. It's a must that you be able to share it and not worry about people stealing it, man. I mean, yeah. it, it's all about sharing it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Getting it out and opening up new outlets to you as well as other people around you. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's one of the, the biggest things that that I wasn't getting, I was not getting that. Like that point of like actually doing it for yourself, like I wasn't, I just wasn't getting it. So when he told me that, it was like a reality check and it hit me and I was like, ah. And also at the same time, you know these, I under, at the same time I understood that you, you have to have very thick skin. Like you can't, cannot be sort of you know easily easily scarred easily hurt you have to be really resilient to be an artist because you're literally you're, you're taking a piece of yourself and you're presenting it to people and not everyone's gonna like it not everyone's gonna recognize it for what it is you know people will interpret it different ways but at the same time that's the that's the excitement of artwork too that I find. Because I never I never know how people are gonna respond, what they're gonna think. And it's just it's, it's it's a cool thing to be able to see how how people interact with it, how they view things, how they take visual cues, how they see different objects and imagery, and, you know, pull it back into themselves.